Hello squaddies, how are you doing? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Welcome back to another video. And today, Sarah Ferguson speaks out about Kate Needleton's cancer news amid her own diagnosis. Yeah, let's let's hear more about what Sarah Ferguson, the Duke of York, had to say about Kate Middleton. But before that, just some background information. The Duchess of York, um, who revealed in January that she was diagnosed with skin cancer after battling breast cancer last year, shared a post on social media expressing her support for the princess of wales um 42 and let's read that post um it says all my thoughts and prayers are with the princess of wales as she starts her treatment i know she will be surrounded by the love of her family and everyone is praying for the best outcome as someone who has faced their own battles with cancer in recent months i am full of admiration for the way she has spoken publicly about her diagnosis and know it will do a tremendous amount of good to raise awareness. I hope she will now be given the time, space and privacy to heal. Wow! Such a beautiful message from the Duchess of York to the Princess of Wales. You know, um, just wishing her all the love and support, you know, during this tough time. And I feel like um, Sarah Ferguson has like first-hand experience with uh, with cancer, you know, because um, she has, you know, gone through breast cancer and now she's undergoing treatment for um, skin cancer, you know, so that's a lot of experience experience and i feel like she knows or has an idea about what kate middleton could be going through at this moment um so that's a really really sweet message and i love how like everyone every time they send this message to um kate middleton they're just like you know what i hope people give her the time space and privacy she needs you know to recover and to undergo these treatments you know and on the good side um faji um apparently um she recently learned that her skin cancer has not spread so that's good news for her you know a person who has undergone the treatment and it has worked you know it has brought the best news that it could that's really amazing news and i bet all she wishes for kate middleton is healing is recovery you know is the best that's all she wishes for kate middleton i also love the part where she has highlighted that kate openly speaking about um her cancer um her undergoing the cancer treatment um is a way to raise awareness regarding cancer um among different people and i will quote in kate's statement you know um while she was speaking um she said at this time, I am also thinking of all those whose lives have been affected by cancer. For everyone facing this disease in whatever form, please do not lose faith or hope you are not alone. Wow, such a beautiful and amazing message to everyone who, you know, may be going through cancer. You know, not directly, probably it's a family member who is going through it. You know, she is sending a lot of love faith and hope towards them and reminding them that they are not alone you know that's such an amazing message and i feel like even as people are sending these messages to kate middleton they're not just sending their love and hope and support towards her they're also sending their love and support to everyone else around the world that is going through cancer either directly or indirectly so let's tie this to harry and megan when they sent their message to princess of wales to kate middleton you know when they wished her healing and support and privacy it was not just for kate middleton it was for everyone who was going through this tough period for everyone who was um going through cancer either directly or indirectly you know and if you asked me this was the time for the media to highlight 
amazing stories of people who have battled cancer you know and won you know these were the times to literally you know speak about cancer around the world you know especially because um if we add sarah ferguson to the list you know um princess kate and king charles those are three royal family members who are going through cancer you know so i feel like if the media wanted to they would have created such an awareness around cancer you know remind everyone who is battling it whether directly or indirectly that they are not alone you know that people are wishing them out here all the love all the hope and they are wishing them to heal you know but guys that does not apply to the british media because what the british media has decided to do you know and i have highlighted the fact that most people are calling upon everyone to give the princess of wales privacy during this tough moment but the british media has decided you know what as giving kate middleton privacy means poking holes on harry and megan and this is weird because apparently Harry's and Meghan's um, message to Kate Middleton was translated to Harry and Meghan being desperate to going back to the royal fold you know and I'm like um why didn't you do that regarding um Sarah Ferguson you know why why didn't you try and act like she's being desperate you know to be among the people that were chosen by king charles to be in the slimmed down monarchy you know and again guys i know i know i know we said don't focus on conflict this is a time of peace this is a time um to wish kate middleton well i know i know i said that but sometimes enough is enough you know because even when we are begging for peace the media is like no 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 we are not going to give you guys peace you know because at this moment we cannot talk about kate middleton and prince william we are going to endlessly speak about Meghan markle and prince harry and their desperation to coming back to the royal fold and how this sickness is providing you know um harry and Meghan the right opportunity just to you know to go back to the royal fold they are trying to give the public um a picture of harry and Meghan as individuals who are happy that the senior royals cannot commit all their time to the royal duties so harry and Meghan have a chance to come back and i'm like what 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 did you want harry and Meghan to do when it was announced that kate middleton had cancer did, didn't you want them to show their support for her did you want them to stay silent and i i am so sure if harry and Meghan remained silent oh my god i feel like it will be worse or it will still be the same because no matter what harry and Meghan does um they they never really satisfy the british media they always find a way to demonize harry's and Meghan's actions you know no matter what they do they can never ever really make the british media happy you know so today if you search harry and Meghan, you will find titles such as um harry and Meghan learned kate's cancer diagnosis on tv and i'm like um have you tried to check how um sarah ferguson learned of kids um cancer diagnosis have you tried to check on everyone in the royal family you know how they found out regarding kids um cancer diagnosis have you done that or have you just secluded harry and megan you know and decided to spread this rumor regarding them um another title you get is kate middleton's diagnosis has left Prince Harry and Meghan Markle with no trust for the royal family. And you're like, where is trust coming in this situation? You know, we said we are focusing on Kate Middleton's recovery, you know, and Harry and Meghan only wished her healing and health and comfort upon the family. They didn't do anything else, you know, 
and i feel like um considering the kind of relationship that these two couples have had over the years that's sufficient you know that's the only support that they can give to this couple in these moments um princess kate and william didn't tell harry and megan about cancer because they couldn't trust that come on guys you know now because kate has cancer we are all empathizing with her but i'm like why is the british media using this using kate's cancer as an excuse to demonize harry and megan that is completely not right you know we all know that at this moment yes we are sending all our love you know all our support in however way we can whether it's through us we are sending it to kate middleton because honestly this is a serious issue but why are we the british media using this as an excuse to suddenly um paint harry and mega like the villains you know i bet i bet if the british media could they could blame the cancer on kate middleton you know they just haven't found a way to do it but i bet if they could they could have already done that you know and if you ask me that's so sad you know you will find it out like Meghan markle prince harry offer services to king charles and after kate's statement Oh my god um you know how i said that the media is trying to paint harry and megan as being desperate to go back to the royal family you know and that they are using um uh, king charles cancer and kate's cancer as an excuse you know to slide through in well that is one of those stories um another story that you'll see is Prince William and Kate have put Harry problem to back of their mind in wake of cancer battle. I'm like, yes, yes, if that is actually happening, trust me, it's completely reasonable. You know, that at this moment, they are not thinking about Harry. They are not um, thinking about the conflict that these two couples have among themselves. You know, though we know the facts regarding that and we are not going to talk about them at this moment because all we are doing is sending love towards Kate Middleton. You know, I'm like British media, do the same. You know, we know you have an issue with Harry. You know, we know you do not like Harry and you are sad and angry at Harry that he managed to make a life for himself in the u.s you know without you the british media we know we know you have an issue with harry and that everything that harry and megan do you will always criticize it we know we know we know but please we are in dire moments you know put harry and megan at the back of your minds concentrate on the right things you know take advantage of whatever is going on in the royal family you know the fact that three members of the royal family are battling cancer this is a time to have authentic conversations regarding cancer in the country regarding how cancer affects families you know whether directly or indirectly this is the time to have such conversations you know to put lights on cancer you know because obviously it's not spoken about enough you know this is the time this is what integral journalism looks like you know i only wish that you could listen to me but we all know they ain't gonna listen you know tomorrow we will wake up with new headlines regarding harry and megan but honestly it's so sad you know because i always say that the media feeds information to the public feeds information to the citizen and in some way um the media um leads the mindset of a nation obviously the nation that it's serving the media does that you know because people consume consume what the media provides it's so sad that the british media chooses in such dire moments to make the harry and megan hate campaign the center of their attention honestly if you ask me you could do better the british media could do better um anyway that's it from me to you and until the next video bye bye